Hello, Nomads Cult, and um, this video is about, I call it the hollow topic. So the question is, is my object hollow or how to hollow out the objects? So let's see Nomads Cult, and here are a few examples. So I start with a, um, yeah, here in the in the top menu here there's a, a menu for the display settings and please activate um, the colored back face option here that you can see here the the back side of your mesh so here's the wire frame and you can look inside your mesh and only when the the colored uh, back face is active you can see clear um, the the back side of the mesh so yeah it's important to understand because this mesh has no shell thickness this mesh mesh is yeah solid like a solid object so but with solid objects um, in fact in nomad sculpt there are no solid objects so every object is hollow inside Nomad. So this is a, a box and some um, beginners think this is a, something like a brick. And yeah, but um, when you use here um, the mask on this object and at the bottom there's a hide mask button you can hide this mask and you see here the, the, the grid or the, the wire frame of the mesh and you see it's only a very thin shell with no thickness. So um, you can look inside the, the mesh and it's hollow. So you can see here's the cylinder. So when I clear the mask, sorry, I clear the mask and now I use the trim option. And here in the trim tool, you find here the option to fill holes and you find it also in the split option and uh, split tool. So when you turn, when fill holes is off and you trim here a part away from your mesh so you can look inside and it's yeah uh, only a thin mesh here with no shell thickness so be careful and uh, this hole filling option here when it's when it's active and you trim now you get a, a closed manifold mesh so this is the goal and so if you want to to create a, um, a mesh with a shell thickness so something like this and or better something like this here there are two options or yeah two ways that are okay the boolean option or the mask extraction so for this object here in fact here boolean there's no boolean boolean way at the moment to create um, a shell for this so in here you have to to mask the object and give it a shell thickness so and here you see this small icon here you can choose a negative direction a, pos a positive negative and only positive so the best way is to use a negative direction to keep the outer yeah, shape so and so I extract now the, the whole thing. So now you see. It's 
sorry, I have to hide the first one. Um, now you see your, your mesh um, has no blue color on the inside and now it's a, a closed object, a manifold mesh. So um, with, a, with a shell thickness or uh, such a wall here. Okay. So let's let's look at this pumpkin. So where is it here? Um, some people prefer the the radial symmetry uh, method uh, with this. Uh, here you can use a radial repeater and create with a. With a sphere here, um, such a, a pumpkin. And if you want to make this object here um, a hollow pumpkin, so you have to use um, a voxel remesh. So now, when I turn on the wireframe. So I mask here a part and I hide the mask again. So you can look inside um, this uh, object and it's hollow. So yeah. And now the next point here, shell thickness is the last step. So if you want to, to create here um, cutouts, like, um, so I turn the symmetry on, so, sorry, I have to set the symmetry to local. So here you can use for, for this, for, for example, the, um, the split option here in the mask, split this and delete the um, split it mesh. Or, or you can use here the trim option with no hole filling. So you can create here the split for your mouse. like this and here you see we made a mistake we um, trimmed through the whole mesh so use only front vertex only and trim this so now you have um, such a mesh and for this I use now the, the mask here um, the mask tool and press on the screen and extract the shell thickness here. So now you get um, such a pumpkin. And for the extraction, there's um, an option to sm use the smoothness here for, for everything. So I can extract it with, a, um, with the round edges here smooth around edges. So there's a smoothness slider here on this side and you can choose the value for the smoothness. <coughs> but here the shell thickness is the last step. So do everything with your mesh before you extract the shell thickness. So <coughs> I clear now the mask and here you can smooth here the edges of your, of your trims and do this before you extract the mask. So 
you get nicer results. Okay. <clears throat> and the next thing is here the question Boolean or mask extraction. So this torus here is a nice example. So when I trim this torus, hole filling is off. And I trim through the torus. So you see here the back side of your mesh and yeah, it's okay. So I go a step back. And now we want to use the boolean operation. So we have to uh, create a clone of this mesh. And this clone here I give a different color. So, and when you want to use here the Boolean operation for this torus objects, you see here when you use the gizmo, the gizmo tool. So, when I want to hollow out this object, the the other mesh comes through the um, the mesh you want to hollow out. So, so you can try to manipulate the mesh and use the move tool. So you have to bring it inside the other mesh to hollow the other mesh out. So this is not a good solution. So Boolean is not the best way to hollow out objects. So when you hide now this mesh and, and do a Boolean, you see here you get problems um, with your mesh. So for for meshes uh, like this torus or a head like this, um, use uh, the mask. So mask this object and then extract the shell thickness here, extract. So this, this head when you trim it symmetry is off. So now you see you have a nice shell here and for the inner mesh here here with the ear you can smooth it out so this um, mesh is um, when you extract the shell a little bit uh, squeezed so you can smooth it so yeah I prefer the, the mask extraction. So mask, mask extraction is, um, you can control it a little bit better, like the Boolean. Here, this is a Boolean um, operation, it failed. So, and this is the mask extraction. Okay, I hope you understand. <laughs> Have a nice day and have fun with sculpting. Ciao.